Namaste. So my first real teacher of esoterica was Gurdjieff, or some people pronounce Gurdjieff. I'm not sure which is correct, but you know, that guy, <laughs> G. And he taught that one should avoid crystallization. Now, what is crystallization? It means becoming fixed, becoming static, uh, solidify, drying out like glue, huh? and becoming stuck in one particular form or one particular outlook or one particular practice or whatever. Now, the very unfortunate thing that can happen is early success. I saw it happen to a close friend of mine back in high school. She was the prom queen. She was dating the football team captain, a state champ, and, you know, the whole nine yards. The most popular girl in school. And it was just so good. It was so perfect. She couldn't move on from it. She married her high school sweetheart. Then she got pregnant. Or maybe it's the other way around. She got pregnant and then she married him. And he winds up working in a gas station pumping gas. And they have two kids. And as you can imagine, that didn't last too long. So they got divorced, and I mean, just the whole thing was just a, a tangle of problems, right? Why? She crystallized, they crystallized on a platform that has no persistence. High school is a completely artificial environment. And all the games and stuff that take place in high school culture and society are completely nonsense because when you leave the school, it's, it's over. You're no longer the class president or the prom queen or the captain of the football team. You're a nobody, isn't it? And similar is true of college and, I mean, so many other things. So the point is, one should not crystallize, especially too early in life. Every 27 years, Saturn returns to its original position in your chart. This is called Saturn return. And because Saturn represents all of our issues and problems and uh, restrictions and so forth, in life, these come up every 27 years like clockwork. They come up to be solved. Uh, and don't you try to do anything ambitious <laughs> during Saturn return or during Shade Sati when Saturn crosses over your natal moon. Uh, I'm in that now. And the only way out of it is discipline. Personal discipline, waking up early, studying Vedas, doing chants and so on, going to temples, um, making videos, you know, all the stuff I do, taking Ayurvedic medicines, doing radical yoga, uh, I mean, all the stuff I do, keeps me from crystallizing. So I keep learning, I keep growing, I keep gaining more wisdom in more different areas. I mean... Okay, nobody can know everything, all right? I accept that. And I certainly don't know everything. Huh? But as far as the things I'm interested in, I have pursued them with great diligence for many years now. And this discipline, the discipline of being open, the discipline of not crystallizing, huh? Like when your grandma finds that favorite chair and settles down in front of the TV to die, uh, you don't do that. 
You get up and you go out and you have an adventure to stay interested in life and not take any phony, you know, substitutions like television or the internet. You know, don't be that guy who dies in his lounge chair of diabetes. Be the guy who goes out and adds muscle, even into like 70s, 80s, like that. And you will have a much more enjoyable, much more productive, much more useful and valuable life and be able to contribute something to the people around you. You know, which in my case is doing the videos, et cetera. Yeah. But you notice, I don't stay on any one particular subject for too long. A couple of years at most. And once I've mastered it, once I feel that I have expressed the essence of it, I move on. I learn something new. I do something new. I go someplace new. <laughs> or at least I go around, you know, India, Sri Lanka, India, Sri Lanka. But the point is, don't crystallize. Put it off as long as possible. If you can put it off till the end, congratulations, you know. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Why? Because the world never stops changing. Why should you? If you cling to one form, one way of being, one way of looking at things, uh, one way of anything, eating, sleeping, you name it. If you get into a rut, in other words, you get stuck. You don't go anywhere. You don't make any progress. You are, for all practical purposes, dying. Huh? Because dying is simply giving up on growth. And I never give up on growth because I know I exist after this body. And I'm preparing for that. So you just like you, you can't have too much money or be too thin. <laughs> you can't have too much knowledge. You can't have too much wisdom or realizations of different things as much as possible from every point of view. And you'll see, if you look at our history in this channel, we've gone through so many points of view. Huh? And harmonize them all based on the four states of consciousness. This is our work so that you can translate, you can, you know, move easily with facility from one system to another without any mix-up, without any confusion or falling down. So this is our contribution. You know, should you care to go back and do the research and learn it, I'll include a link to our historical video catalog, and you can see there how the channel is organized according to states of consciousness and how the video series are classified according to consciousness and the seven chakras. So do click that link and go through that document. It's only seven or eight pages, uh, but it's full of links to all our old historical series. And you will see that what we've done is created a holistic ontological system based on consciousness, based on Brahman, huh? Turiya consciousness, where everything can be related and connected and understood properly uh, in its ultimate purpose of leading us to complete enlightenment. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.